And just don't be afraid to look stupid on the range. <laughs> Guys, welcome to another Earn Dog Golf video. I have my emotional support animal because I need all of the emotional support I can get. Thank you. Yeah, I got the golf jinx in the very beginning of a golf trip and it sucked. Quite honestly, it kind of messed me up mentally for the entirety of the trip. Uh, I got back to Dallas and did a little bit of calibration on the range with uh, my Garmin R10 and the Awesome Golf app, like you guys have seen me do before. And then I had a lesson with Zach where, you know, I kind of brought it up to him and we sort of talked about why shanks happen and how we can prevent them in the future. Obviously, this is not a topic that I wanted to be making a video about, but you know, this is my golf journey. And with the peaks, we're gonna have valleys and this is one of those valleys, but we gotta learn from it and, and move forward. So um, making this video so that in case you have the shanks, you'll know how to get rid of them. And if I have the shanks again in the future, I'll know how to get rid of them as well. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll catch you guys at the end. And yeah, see you soon. So if you set up here, see my hands are in this position? Yeah. If I come down and my hands go towards the ball, yeah. you see how the heel's more exposed? Yeah. So I think it's just, it's just that much. So think of if I start here, see how my hand comes back to there? Yeah. Versus pushing out. So anytime you're hitting heel, some part of your body's coming closer to the ball. First thing to check is the hands. Second thing to check is the elbows. Third thing to check is the shoulder. Fourth thing to check is leaning into it. Okay. So just from here, what you want to feel is go up to the top, bring the heel into it, and purposely try and hit the heel. Okay. And then come down, bring the toe into it, purposely try and hit the toe. Okay. And then from here, come down and bring it right back to center. Okay. Right there. And then you can actually hit one where you come down, heel it. Okay come down on the next one and just do a little small swing and then just feel like you tow it. Gotcha. And just feel the different extremes. Cool. And why do you think I was extending my arms as much as... You just weren't aware of it. Okay. So a good thing to feel here. So take your setup. Okay. So bring it all the way up to the top. Now come back down. See how you had to kind of pull them in? Yeah. That's not something you were doing, is it? No. No. Exactly. So it was just like... Subconsciously, I was. Yeah, so like think of it this way. Bring it up, come down. Your club was just right here. Gotcha. Versus here. Wow, yeah. So now start over. Yes. Perfect. So try and do one where you hit toe, hit heel. Okay, I'll go heel first. Okay. There you go. Feel that? Yeah. Yeah. Now come back and try and hit toe. There you go, really nice. Good. Now try and hit the center. So just think if you did, you know, two minutes of that every rain session, just hit a couple toes, hit a couple heels, and then hit a couple center. It just you're learning what you don't know. Gotcha. Versus if you go up there and you hit heel, you have no idea what just happened. Gotcha. But if you can train that skill, then it's just like, okay, I know where I'm contacting it on the face. Cool. A little toe? A little toe? Maybe might have just closed it a little much. Let's see. Here. Turn this on. That's your nine, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah. All right, so this will tell us where you hit on the face. There you go. Where'd that feel? Felt good. Yeah. Club path is kind of coming back to, to neutral. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, that was perfect. Nice. Yeah. Sick. So it's just like messing around with that and just yeah, kind of feeling exactly. what that's like. So now that we got this up, see if you can do toe and heel and see okay. if it shows up. Cool, let's see. I'm gonna go heel first. Yep. Okay. Just don't be afraid to look stupid on the range. <laughs> Perfect. You know what I mean? I love that. Yeah. You get it? Yeah, I think so. There we go. Yeah. Nice. Sweet. Let's go. Let's go toe. Good. Yeah, now here's the important the thing is what do you feel different when you hit heel versus when you hit toe? That's what you want to be aware of is that yeah. understanding of what changes between those two shots. Cool. It's like a, it's almost like a conscious hand. Yeah. 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 Like I'm like 
almost trying to miss the ball when I'm going toe. Okay. Good. And then heel is like, I'm almost like trying to come over the top a little bit. Kind of throwing your hand. And yeah, and just yeah. kind of go over. There you go. Going over. Very nice. Sweet. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that. It seems like it's a, it's a very easy fix. I haven't been shanking the golf ball, so that's a positive sign. But as always, I just wanna say a huge uh, thanks to Zach for letting me record the, the lesson. Huge thanks to you guys for all the support that I've been getting, all the love and all the, you know, just kind of like positive feedback that I've been getting in all my videos. It, it really does mean a lot. Please continue commenting. I literally respond to every single comment. Uh, I love golf. I, I, I can't express that enough. Like I can talk golf all day, every day, and I love knowing and learning about your journeys as well. So make sure you kind of introduce yourself down below if you're a new subscriber. And yeah, guys, I hope you guys have a good weekend and I'll catch you guys next week. Take care.